Hey guys, Shane here, Figure Deck 3D Printing. Today we're going to check out XYZ Printing's DaVinci 3D Printing Pen. Welcome back guys. So I picked up this pen on a Newegg deal for $7. It retails for I think $50. It goes on sale for anywhere between like 15 and 20 and then on Black Friday it was down to $7. I could not pass it up just because, I mean, why not? The other pen I got, uh, it's kind of fun to play with. It's a nice little toy, but I wanted to try a bigger company rather than some no-name Chinese brand. I mean, XYZ printing, people, a lot of people use their printers. I personally never used any of them, so it should be cool. The box is uh, very simple. It shows you the pen on there, their label. There's a little stick here on the back. It tells you the part number, the model number. Operating voltage is 12 volts at 3.33 amps. It uses PLA. Nozzle diameter is 0.8 millimeters, so pretty thick. And the filament diameter it uses is 1.75 millimeters. So we open it up. And the very top, we have a warranty card. We have another folded sheet. So this is the quick guide, which uh, looks to be pretty... Yeah, wow, there's a lot of pictures on what to do. So it might actually not be too bad. I wish it was in color though, because the black and white's a little bit hard to see. I bet you they have it on their website. That'd be all right. Uh, we have a one meter of three colors of PLA. It says three pieces, but I only see blue and yellow in there. Then we have this thing, which is probably for uh, taking out any clogs. Then we have the pen nestled in there, which is interesting. And holy smokes. All right, well, the pen out. And it has like a laptop power supply to go with it, which is very interesting. I mean, this is huge. The other one uses USB, but this one's 12 volt. That one was only five volts. Uh, how do we open this up here? So this uses quite a bit more power than the other one does. Uh, it's a uh, plastic. Here we can see inside of it the wee little motor. It says right here on the side PLA. So maybe they do make another one that does ABS or anything like that. Buttons feel good. There's an LED on the front. We have where our power brick goes into and then where the filament goes into. But the build quality, I mean, so far feels okay. Again, $7, you know, retails for about 60 normally, but um, my hopes are, I don't really have any hopes for this. I just, it'll be whatever it is, I guess. So let's get the power supply going and then we'll take a look at the quick start guide and see what we need to do to start printing some stuff. Connect the bundled power source to the 3D pen. LED should be a red light. Yes, I actually need to turn on the power strip first. Okay, so that's on now. Press any button to begin heating up. The LED should be steady flashing red light. That is correct. It did that. Once heating is complete, green indicator is on. I'm guessing there's some filament in there because I can hear some crackling or something going on in there. All right, now we're going to insert the filament and see what happens because it is now green. Now we're just going to hold the extrude arrow and it sucks it right in. Clicking at first had to get a little bit of a push. And then we were off to the races, it seems. It's not as loud as the uh, tip-eye uh, pen was, so that's nice. But this one is a metal nozzle. It doesn't have a ceramic coating, so that is not as safe as the other one was. And it takes a while for it to start. Let's have to get a little push again. Well, let's see if something can be made. So far it works. Well, I did have a little bit of snag in there in the beginning, but it started working pretty well, pretty quickly after that. It does seem to have um, some difficulty from time to time actually extruding out, almost like the motor is a little bit too weak for it, I guess. And there's also no stand, so not a fan of that. Again, for the price, should I be expecting one? I don't know, but it kind of just seems that in this day and age, why not have one? 
It's almost like a 3D printer coming without a part cooling fan. Why not? So, I mean, it is a big nozzle, so quite a lot of filament comes out, which I honestly think that's a little bit easier than having the 0.2 millimeter nozzle come out because that makes really hard to actually make things. But this is much, much easier because it comes out. Now, it's not variable speed, which would have been nice to see. Uh, I know the, the tip eye and a few other ones that I've seen, they do have variable speeds and variable temperatures. This has one temperature, which is I don't know. It doesn't say how hot it gets, at least that I've seen so far. Uh, oh, it gets 180 C. And you can use pretty much any filament in here except for filament that, you know, is hot, needs more than 180 C to print with. So far, it's an interesting item. I said I made a little cube. Something there. Whatever this is, I don't know. I'm not really artistic, which kind of makes this a little bit hard. I have friends that are artistic, but I am not. And the plastic part gets fairly hot down here at the bottom. Again, because it has that metal nozzle, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Again, it's I mean, a lot more dangerous than the other ones with the ceramic nozzles, where it's a metal nozzle encased in ceramic. That way it's a lot safer. The outside temperature is greatly insulated so that you get you know, less chance of burning. I definitely would not give this to one of the kids to play with, I can say that, just because it's a bit bigger it's a okay size, you know, a little bit fatter than probably what I would like it to be. The buttons are responsive. They start. I mean, I hit it, it starts, stops, starts, it stops. You know, the, uh, you know, the removal filament uh, seems to, once you press that, that just kind of goes. But uh, let's give that a shot and see how another color comes out. The removing filament is actually quite loud, but way faster than putting it in. And it still runs, hit the in and it stops. Oh, I guess they give you random colors because I got two blues here. Put the blue in here, start it, and then hold that and let it take it in. And the waiting game begins. All right, so I've played with this for a little while and I think I'm ready to give my thoughts on it. And those are, it's an okay thing. Again, it was super cheap. I think these usually go on sale. The original price is like 45 or $50, which is definitely not worth it. Uh, and even at the $15 that it sometimes goes down to or what I bought at and then there's coupon code to get it for $7 on Black Friday. At that price, yes, that's a pretty decent price for this. Uh, anything more than that, not really. Couple big things I don't like about it is the nozzle is just a straight up brass nozzle. A lot of the other pens that I've seen online and the tip eye that I've used here and reviewed before, the nozzle is coated with ceramic, which means that the nozzle doesn't get as hot. You could touch it and not instantly like give yourself a third degree burn. This is not the case for this one as it is just a completely exposed brass nozzle and it's you're just gonna burn yourself really quick. Uh, also, because the nozzle is so fat, like there is so much brass to it, it doesn't come down to a very good tip, which makes doing anything precision or anything that's close together really hard to do. So to kind of do a demonstrate on what I did was I made this little model airplane. It was a pretty interesting model. I got this off of the 3D Doodle website. They have a lot of stencils there. By stencils, I mean this is the stencil. And with this stencil, they give you a guide on how to assemble the airplane because obviously it's just a whole bunch of pieces. And this is probably the best way to use a 3D pen. Like you could try and extrude something 3D off the, you know, out of the cusp and thin air. You really can't get straight lines or anything. So what you need to do is actually draw it 2D out on a piece of paper, take it off, and then use the pen to weld the different things together. So, I mean, you see this habit, this. The uh, chassis itself is one, two, three, four, five, six pieces just to get the main body. Then there's the back wing, the two side wings, and the propeller, and then the actual wheels on the bottom also all get attached on there. So it was, it's an okay thing. Uh, it's super stringy because when this stops, it doesn't stop. It stops faster than the tip eye does, but still not as fast as I would want it to stop. 
Um, it's a little bit clunky. It's a little bit big for my hands. I don't have huge hands. I don't also have small hands. It's just, I don't know, like it's just a little too big for what it is. I feel like there is a ton of wasted space inside in plastic. They really could have whittled this down a lot smaller. Now this being the second one that I've used, it is a lot quieter than the tip eye is. So that's nice. Uh, there is no display on here to tell you the temperature that it's at. You just basically click the button. The light goes from solid red to blinking red. It heats up, takes about a minute, roughly, maybe a little less, which isn't, isn't too bad. And then the light goes green, you're at temperature. If you don't use it for, I wanna say two minutes, it automatically turns off. Uh, I forget, I think it's in the, in the thing somewhere here. But it's after, it's after like two minutes, you don't use it, it turns off. So I found myself pressing the button, setting it down, doing something else on the computer, coming back, and it's like, ah, oh, it's solid again. Like, I missed it. Like, I missed my heat up period, and I was kind of bummed about that. Uh, the heat separation between the actual heating components inside and this plastic piece, pretty good. You can get pretty close, but you really shouldn't be touching it. You really want to have your hands on the orange part uh, just to make sure it doesn't get that hot there. But again, just gets a little bit awkward trying to push the buttons and draw at the same time. You can use any 1.75 millimeter filament with this. Uh, for this one, I actually used a few out of this PLA pack that I got from Tip Eye. Still have a ton of it left because uh, I've just used a little bit of it. And I kind of just want to see, you know, how is this going to work? I don't want to make a too terribly uh, long video about this, but either way, I mean, it, if you can get this for cheap, I think it's a pretty cool little gift to give someone younger, not real young, because again, this is exposed. I would recommend the tip eye over this simply because it has the ceramic on the nozzle. So you're not going to have any exposed brass that's like raging hot. It's just kind of hot. So uh, if you are thinking about getting something like this for someone younger, think really hard. It's big, so it's really made for adult hands. And again, it's not really safe, in my opinion. Let's see, what else is there? Yeah, in doing this whole thing and kind of just messing around, I did a, just a couple weird things here. I did a couple other things that aren't around because the dog ate them. Dog ate my homework. That actually is a very valid thing here. The dog actually ate a few things. And I didn't have any jam, so I didn't have any reason to test out their little jam stick here that you're supposed to plug in there. They have all the steps here in the guide. The guide is actually rather thorough. I do like that. It is black and white. Color would be a little bit nicer. I'm nitpicking at that one. Uh, but just regardless, just being able to see the different components inside here on the back when they're telling you how to remove things and what to do, color really would help a lot for that part. So I leave it to you guys. I mean, what do you think? I mean, does it work? Yes. Is it the best one out there? I don't know. I haven't tried them all yet. It's kind of hard to tell. It's like 3D printers. You get one, it might be good, it might be not, but there is a thousand of them out there. There are hundreds of different 3D printing pens out there to try out. This one worked. If you can get it for a good price, again, it works well enough. So I can't see why not if you're getting it for someone to kind of say, hey, this is kind of a cool gag. My parents thought this thing was amazing. I will say that. They're like, oh, it's a 3D printer in your hand. Yes, they thought it was pretty amazing. So I, you know, I can uh, appreciate that. So you can definitely have some wow factor with your family, which is also kind of cool. So that sums this up, guys. I'm done talking about this. It worked. Is it the best out there? Probably not. It was quiet. I had no jams. You know, what else can you say? It's kind of like you have a mediocre product it's mediocre at best if you get it for the cheap price great if not don't buy it so that sums it up guys if you think you want to check this out i'll put some links down below i know i got this one off of new egg on their black friday sale if i find any of the vendors i'll make sure to put some links down there for you guys to check it out buy from your favorite place uh, wherever you prefer again i just saw this really cheap on new egg that's why i got it if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down and talk in the comments down below I'd love to talk to you on what I can do better next time. If you guys want to support me, best thing to do, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell icon on that, and that way you get an email notification anytime I upload new content. If you want to support me financially, down below is going to be a Patreon link. Don't need a dollar more. I greatly appreciate current Patreons. You guys are awesome as always. If you want to support me in other ways, there's a lot of affiliate links down below. Do your daily shopping. I greatly appreciate anything that you guys do, even if it is just to watch this video. So until next time, guys, happy printing.